It's been over three years now since EA Sports announced the return of the college football video game series. And finally today, we got the first official teaser trailer of the brand new EA Sports College Football 25. Now let's react to this bad boy live and see what the heck EA Sports has up their sleeve. And I do think up front, it's very important to note that in the description, it very clearly states that the game is coming this summer and the full reveal will come in May. So this is probably just some teaser trailer. We might not see much gameplay if any but dude at least if anything man this confirms that finally after an 11 year absence we're getting ourselves a brand new college football game bro i was a senior in high school the last time this game came out and i'm about to be 30 now so like that just tells you how long it's been and i'm so excited it's insane i've been waiting 11 years at this point let's just click this freaking play button Got something special for y'all. Little update for our fans from the big house to the bayou, from Carolina to California. Oh, dude, I can't believe it. I can't believe it's actually happening. The Rose Bowl, though. Rose Bowl has uh, such bad memories for yours truly. The last and only time I was here, because of this play, my alma mater choked away the biggest upset in team history. Let's not focus on that for too long. Let's just get back into the freaking trailer. Little update for our fans from the big house to the bayou, from Carolina to California. Yeah. It's about college football. Oh, we know you sick. love it. Us too. The rivalries, the comebacks, the traditions and superstitions built by generations. There's nothing like it. Turns out, we've been building too. Oh, here we go, here we go. First bit of gameplay, first bit of gameplay here. Let me move my face out of the way. Does say not final, represents a game in development as I think that's pretty clear by the graphic they gave us. You have the Penn State Nittany Lion. I just hope they build this game with as much passion as they used to. There's This game just can't be bad. I don't think EA Sports can allow for this game not to be a massive hit. Probably why the game was delayed a whole year. You know so let's address the big owl in the room. So we have here, obviously, an early rendering of Neyland Stadium, the University of Tennessee. So that's kind of sick. So Next, we got the Florida Gator mascot head, which is obviously also sick. And then we have the iconic play like a champion today sign in Notre Dame's tunnel leading out to the field. That's like one of the most iconic traditions in all of college football. And here we have Big Al. And dude, I have to say, if this is what the game is going to look like, like this mascot, like just the purest, like the graphics look great. And I always know the graphics and trailers and stuff look so much better than in-game. But just from the surface, like, this is what I expect 2024 college football gaming to look like. And also got a quick little clip of the USC Trojan mascot. We've seen the posts, the predictions, the doubts. We get it. And this is true. Like, so many people, even myself, was starting to question whether or not the game was actually going to come out. It was supposed to come out last year. Got delayed this year. We haven't heard anything. But obviously, that's a moot point here because the game's obviously freaking coming out now. Oh, what else do they have left for us here? It's been a minute. Now it's sick. Now it's sick. Let's just say this ain't the only jersey we've been working on. Okay, we got some jerseys. It's like this is them scanning the Nebraska jersey. And I'm assuming this is the Nebraska jersey in game. Obviously not a final rendering of it. Little up close shot for the jersey of your national champions last year, University of Michigan. Obviously you can't see too much, but they look fine. <laughs> You had, oh, if we go back a little bit, I think we had a quick little screenshot of Texas A&M. Again, it says not final, represents a game in development, but these jerseys look sick. Obviously not on a real player model, and it looks like the guy's cross-eyed, which is kind of unfortunate. But the jersey itself definitely looks solid. Obviously, you can tell pretty, you know, pretty big upgrade in quality thus far from NCAA 14, which should be expected after a decade. Now a little close-up of Florida State's jersey. I have to say the chin strap looks a little funky up here but again this is definitely not final but little teaser of florida states jersey wonder if we get any group of five jerseys in this trailer probably not we have florida here again looks solid i do have to say i wish we could have got some actual player models but hey hey i'm happy just to know the game's coming out at this point back of georgia's helmet which is looking solid even has a warning sticker which is it was pretty cool is that is the game this sport deserves Cause pretty soon, 
This place will be full again. Oh man. Until then. Chills. Cue the crowd noise. Chills. That's cool. Yes, it's really happening. It better be. It better freaking be. I mean, I guess in the day, I won't believe 120% until I see the game in front of me, but this trailer, you know, it's a pretty good indicator that this game will be coming out in July. Full reveal this May. Oh, man, dude. Oh, they have a YouTube channel now. I think it's safe to say that uh, I'm going to subscribe to this channel. I cannot describe to you how excited I am to not only play this game, but make content on it. Like, this game was my passion growing up. I probably would have never gotten into Madden if the college football games weren't taken off the market. So I'm telling you right now, somebody that lived this game for a decade and this game was his childhood, I really, really hope they don't mess this up. And I genuinely think EA Sports knows they cannot. That's why they put so many resources into this game and why I think they've been so quiet. Because they don't want to reveal anything. They don't want to release this game until they know they 100% have it right. Because they're at the point, their relationship with their customers, I think they're at the point where they cannot allow for this game to be a flop. If they allow for the return of the college football game to be a flop after 11 year absence, Nobody ever again is going to trust them. So that's why I genuinely believe they know they cannot mess this up. And I don't think they will. Obviously, we've got to have the dynasties. I haven't had confirmation yet from anywhere that online dynasty is returning. But it's got to, right? Like, dynasty is returning. That's confirmed. But they haven't specifically said online dynasty. So that's got me worried a little bit. But there's no way online dynasty isn't in the game. And also, at the same point... I think previously you could only have 12 people in online dynasty. I think after a decade, I, it's got to be bumped up, right? Like most conferences has like 14, 16, 18 members now. So I would assume you might even have a max of like maybe 32 members that can be in a dynasty. In Madden franchise, you could have 32 teams. So like I feel like the online dynasty will be returning hopefully amplified a bit up to like 30-ish users road to glory is confirmed to return i just hope they allow as much customization as what they did back in the day because that's what made this game so great like team builders gotta be back there's rumors that fcs teams will even be included in the game after launch like maybe as an update so that would be cool to be able to bring in some fcs team one thing i am worried about is the nil implementation into dynasty mode like how is that gonna work like i do know it's gonna suck to, you know the first dynasty I'm going to make is my alma mater, South Alabama. I'm probably going to make that even into a series. But, like, are you really going to have to have to deal with your best players leaving every season? Like, I'm wondering how that is going to implement, like, how that's going to work. Because, like, I know that's going to be very frustrating. You recruit these players, and at the end of their freshman season, they can win the Heisman as a freshman at South Alabama, and then immediately they transfer, take an NIL deal elsewhere. So how is that going to work in a video game format? Because that there's there's like things that like I'm so excited the game's gonna come out, but like how are all these crazy new changes in college football that's kind of really beaten up on the little guy? How is that going to be implemented into the first college football game in over a decade? Because the one of the things I think made NCAA so popular was just the idea of taking the underdog dynasty and like bringing them to the top of the top in college football. But like with the new rules nowadays, that's like almost impossible to do. So I'm just interested to see how EA Sports implements that. All the new rules, everything that's happened the past five, six, seven years where college football has really got crazy to where now coaches are leaving for lesser jobs in the NFL. Um, I'm just really interested to see and hopefully they can nail that just to make sure this game is the best it possibly can be after a 10 plus year absence. So I do want you guys to let me know what you think about the teaser trailer in the comment section below. Are you excited and do you think this game is going to be a hit or you think it's going to be a flop? You guys do need to subscribe to this channel because I'm telling you a series is coming ASAP. I'm trying to work out the revamped. I'm having some issues, but as soon as I get that fixed, we're going to have a series on this channel leading into the new college football game, which is coming probably in July. So with that said, I really, really hope EA Sports doesn't screw this up, and I don't think they will.